Hi everyone and welcome back to this channel. Today I am decluttering all of Frederick's toys. Now if you've never seen our channel before, Frederick is almost my two year old son and we have recently started progressing on our minimalist journey and I need to clean out these toys because there is a lot in this house, there's a lot in this playroom, there's a lot in these baskets that need to either go in the bin, get no donated or get sold because we have way too much and Frederick honestly doesn't play with all of them anymore so I need to do a huge clean out and I thought this was going to be a great opportunity to show you guys some tips and tricks of how to get started with your minimalist journey just like me because obviously i've just started myself but also how i am decluttering the playroom as you can see we've got these two boxes here which are normally toys that i kept in the lounge room but somehow we've just accumulated more and more toys in the lounge room we normally only have actually one of these boxes in the lounge room but we ended up with two and we've just ended up putting more and more toys in it for the lounge room and i just don't like it and then all the toys and all the books back here are all in his playroom he's got toys over there he's got stuffed teddies he's got toys over here he's got toys over here He's got lots, so we're gonna go through everything. So before we actually get on to organizing this playroom, I wanna go through some tips that I'm going through to actually succeed with my minimalist journey. Tip one is anything that has not been used within the last three months is getting tossed. Tip two, if anything is broken, it is getting thrown into the bin. Tip three, if we have two things that are very similar, only one is getting kept. And tip four, make sure that everything is age appropriate for my son. So basically those are the tips that I'm going with for this playroom. So I guess we're going to get started. I actually have a feeling of just tipping everything else on the floor so I can start organizing them in their boxes and in their little places in each cabinet in the bookcase. I feel like that's just the easiest way for me and then I can just quickly just put stuff in the bags to put in the bin or get donated and it's just easier that way. So I think I'm just gonna literally tip everything on the floor and we're just gonna do it that way. As you can see my son has a lot of toys that he clearly doesn't need like this is too many that a two-year-old needs really plus all of this let's be honest this is way too much this box I didn't empty because this is his craft box and it's pretty organized it just has all these like you know scissors and glues and paints and all that kind of stuff so that's staying there all the books are staying there i am going to go through his books to see which ones he still likes and which ones he doesn't i'm also going to go through his puzzles but a lot of his puzzles are still new because they got them from christmas and also this is new because we got that for christmas so we're not getting rid of that and that's why it's not on the floor i will go through all of this stuff also and his stuffed teddies so first of all i'm going to start off with this container this container is always been kept in this little storage container and they normally keep all of like these uh, foam tower blocks and everything but he's really not interested in these anymore and they also kept some of these plastic balls they used to have for his ball pit but honestly he doesn't really play with these either so I'm actually going to donate all of these just because he doesn't use them and it's just getting wasted space. That is all the little foam bits and balls in that one. I'm pretty sure they're scattered like all over the place in this big pile I've got here. So I will go through this pile and if I see one I'll just put it in this. Um, bag throughout the time. There is a lot of rubbish in here also so I'm going to get another bag and just get all the stuff that I actually really do want to throw out just so it's out of the way and then I can start organizing everything with where I want to put it.
rubbish. There is a lot of rubbish. It's just like, you know, cardboard and all toys that I really don't want. Like, you know, the empty play containers and, you know, there's, you know, these plastic things that he just doesn't use. The Christmas stuff that he's got in his advent calendar that we really shouldn't have put in there because it's just a waste of money and it's bad for the environment or I'm drunk anyway. So this is all rubbish at the moment. I probably will fill this up throughout the video. But I'm just going to place it here so I can fill it up throughout the video. And yeah, we're going to start organising things into their boxes. So we've got a box that goes with all of Frederick's train stuff. So like his train sets, his trains, his tracks, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to put all his train tracks in one and then we can get that out of the way. And then I'm just going to go through everything and start organising. of the room I've still got a lot of toys in in front of me I'm just looking at seeing what isn't appropriate for Frederick's age anymore I'm pretty sure like the tiny little box he doesn't really play with anymore so I'll probably donate those um, train sets that he had when he was a little baby and he doesn't play with these anymore so I'm actually going to throw these out because a lot of the pieces are missing they've gone missing or he's accidentally throwing them in the bin or I have been annoyed at all the toys in the room so I'm going to actually throw these because there's probably only a couple of pieces that go with this set so I'm just going to throw it because he does have his other train set and he doesn't use this one anymore he does have a lot of these little books floating around some of them he uses some of them he doesn't the little Thomas ones are new he got them for Christmas I need to put them in the little container down here but the other ones he doesn't really gravitate towards. He does have reading or learning books. So I'm not going to keep these books anymore. I am going to donate these. And these trains and boat ones he doesn't really gravitate towards a lot. So I'm also going to donate these bad boys. Another thing that Frederick has a lot of are wooden blocks. These aren't even like half the amount of wooden blocks that Frederick has. But I just love wooden toys and blocks in general. And even though Frederick doesn't play with these very often when he does, he loves playing with them. He loves building towers. And I'm sure very, very, very soon he'll build, you know, little towns with them and everything like that. So I'm actually going to keep them and I'm going to put them in the yellow container behind me that used to keep all those foam um, tower pieces in them so I'm going to put all his blocks in there because we do have a lot we even have these ones with letters on them and numbers so these are like learning blocks and I really don't want to get rid of these because they're really good for like spelling and learning numbers and all that kind of stuff so I'm going to keep them but we're going to keep them in this yellow box
stuff that we are throwing out and donating are here so all of this stuff we are donating there's like plush toys puzzles wooden toys trucks all that kind of fun stuff in there and we've also got the two ride-on cards we decided to get rid of that because frederick did get a tricycle for his birthday don't mind the tripod and all of these three containers plus the pram are going into the bin the plant the pram's going into the bin because it actually is broken and even though Frederick uses it, it is broken, so I don't think it's really safe to use anymore. This is just an overview of what the room looks like now. I know it's not super minimal, but it is less junk. Um, everything's organized, so he's got like his mu musical stuff and like his um, animals down there, his wooden blocks, his Lego, his puzzles and all his like educational learning stuff. And he's got his wooden tool set and more um, alphabet stuff. We minimized his plush toys, which are good. And we decluttered this a little bit, even though I think I'm going to get rid of it really soon just because it's going to waste, basically, just sitting there not getting used much. So, yeah, this is what the playroom looks like now. That is decluttering the playroom done. I'm so happy I've done this and I'm so glad I've got rid of all the rubbish and the stuff that he doesn't use anymore. I've I'm glad I minimized the toys that Frederick has and I hopefully can do it again in a couple of weeks and minimize it again. I do just want to put a little disclaimer out there that I know it's not minimal but we are getting there. I am practicing minimalism this year so I'm slowly getting there. I don't want to get rid of everything straight away. I do want to slowly do it. So doing this at the moment is really good for us and we are going to get to where we want to in our minimalist journey. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and maybe hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed seeing this video. You might enjoy seeing more of our videos. But anyway, I'm going to get going. So I hope you all have a fantastic day and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!